even if you absolutely despise eggplants. Cooking it this way may just change your mind forever. You're just gonna have to find out. Now let's go. So slice and kosher salt on both sides. Onto a resting rack and leave for one hour. Now dry them really well on both sides because as you can see, that salt pulled out a lot of moisture. Medium hot heat pan and a generous amount of avocado oil. You could also try another neutral oil, that'll be fine. Carefully place your eggplant or aubergine if you wanna be cool about it. Here's what we're going for. You want it to be really dark, like burning. So after about six minutes, flip. Another five minutes and out. Little extra virgin olive oil. Squeeze of lemon. And just a little pinch mold and salt to finish. Okay, time for a taste. Like yesterday's squash. Beautiful crunch on the outside. Pudding like melt in your mouth texture in the middle. This is eggplant at its best for me. You know I love you. And I'm out. There's a better way to cook yellow squash. There, there isn't, there really isn't. Now let's go! So just half them, and we'll take a little petty knife and just score in about a fifth of an inch. Score back the other way. So they look like this. Season with rosemary salt. You know, you know. Pan down medium hot heat. Out to 20 minutes, pat them dry. Generous amount of grapeseed oil. Squash in. When they're starting to brown a little around the edges, straight into a 400 degree oven. So after 20, 25 minutes, this is the result. Just get those out. There's just not a better way. Coming in for a taste. A little crunchy on the outside and like putting melt in your mouth in the middle. Amazing. You know I love you. And I'm out. Living in a kid's food paradise. We're making chicken fingers. Now let's go. So get your flour dredge ready. One whole egg with a teaspoon of soy sauce. One and a half cups panko breadcrumbs. Season it up with some rosemary salt. If you know, you know. Mix it in. Just some chicken breast cut into nice little strips. First into the flour, coat it thoroughly. Just shake off the excess. Now the egg. Chicken takes a swim, coat that nicely. Straight into the panko, dip it and flip it and press. Medium heat pan and a generous amount of olive oil. Did I just say olive oil? I meant avocado. Chicken in, always lay away. Two and a half minutes and flip, oh yeah. Another two and a half minutes and drain. Tiny bit of finishing salt. Rest, two and a half minutes. I'm dipping this in my burnt shallot and curry mayo from the last post. Well, this is exciting. Oh, oh my God. The chicken with that mayonnaise, next level. You know I love you. And I'm out. Look, are you ready to step up your Brussels sprout game? You know I got some tricks for you. Now let's go. First of all, when you trim the bottom, just the tiniest little bit, then in half. Season up some boiling water. Brussels in. Preheat the oven to 400. After eight minutes, strain. Tiny little splash of olive oil. Small little pinch salt. Gently toss. Sheet pan down a little bit of olive oil to coat. Just like that. Brussels sprouts on. Just arrange them so they're all flesh side down. And finally spread them out nicely. Now straight to the bottom rack of a 400 degree oven. After 25 minutes, they look like this. Give them a nice little toss. A little bit of finishing salt. Trust me when I say that's what's up. Forget it. Without a doubt, my favorite way to cook a sprout. What's your favorite way? Let me know in the comments. I love you. And I'm out. Do you remember this? <laughs> what, you think I threw those peels away? No chance. Imagine if a potato chip met a french fry. We're gonna fry them. Now let go. Bring some frying oil up to 350 degrees. Salad spinner. Potato peel. And spin. <laughs> Absolutely wanna get these as dry as possible. Fry in small batches for about four or five minutes and into a bowl with paper towel to drain. Immediately hit them with rosemary salt. If you know, you know. Fresh ground black pepper, parmigiano reggiano, some truffle oil. Good little toss. Now you have the most delicious little snack ever. No more wasted potato peels. Forget it, that is so much better than a store-bought potato chip. Well, I love you and I'm out.